Artemis, goddess of the hunt, embodies nature's duality. In this exploration of her complex roles, divine origins, and enduring influence on Greek mythology and culture, we'll uncover the layers of her character that make her a unique and pivotal figure in the pantheon of ancient gods. At the heart of Artemis's identity lies a profound embodiment of nature's dual essence. As an Olympian goddess, she stands as both a fierce protector and a skilled huntress. Her bow and arrow, along with her sacred deer, symbolize this paradox. In the depths of wild forests, Artemis might tenderly guard a newborn fawn one moment, then swiftly pursue prey the next. This duality isn't a contradiction, but a reflection of the intricate balance within nature itself, where life and death dance in an eternal cycle. As we delve deeper into Artemis' character, we find that her dual nature is rooted in her very origins, shaping her role among the gods and her influence over the mortal world. The divine origins of Artemis are crucial to understanding her multifaceted nature. Born on the island of Delos to Zeus and Leto, she emerged as the twin sister of Apollo. Their contrasting domains, Artemis ruling over the moon and wilderness, while Apollo governs the sun and civilization, exemplify the cosmic balance so revered in Greek mythology. This duality extends beyond their individual roles, reflecting the Greek understanding of universal harmony. Artemis's protection of Delos, her birthplace, serves as a counterpoint to Apollo's widespread influence, showcasing her as a guardian of sacred spaces and highlighting her unique blend of celestial and earthly influences. This balance between the twins mirrors the larger themes of duality that define Artemis's character and her place in the pantheon. As we examine Artemis's roles more closely, we see how her divine nature manifests in her actions and responsibilities towards both the natural world and human society. Artemis's dual roles intertwine to reflect nature's complexity in ways that go beyond simple dichotomies. Her hunting isn't merely a sport or a display of skill, it serves as a vital tool for ecosystem management. By culling overpopulated species, Artemis maintains biodiversity and prevents the devastation of overgrazing. This aspect of her character demonstrates a deep understanding of ecological balance thousands of years before the concept of conservation emerged in human consciousness. Simultaneously, as the guardian of maidens, Artemis symbolizes the delicate transition to womanhood, offering guidance through the challenges of adolescence. This protective role extends to her domain over childbirth, where she assists in bringing new life into the world. The duality of Artemis as both huntress and midwife illustrates her mastery over life's critical moments, requiring precise timing, skill, and an intimate knowledge of nature's rhythms. These multifaceted aspects of Artemis are further reflected in the symbols associated with her, each carrying deep significance in Greek mythology and culture. The symbols associated with Artemis embody the intricate balance of nature she oversees. Her bow and arrow represent not just hunting prowess, but also protective power mirroring life's delicate equilibrium. The deer, her sacred animal, embodies both vulnerability and grace, reflecting Artemis's dual role as guardian and huntress. Perhaps most significantly, the moon with its cyclical phases ties directly to her domain over life, death, and rebirth, echoing the eternal rhythms of the wilderness she oversees. These symbols come to life in the myths surrounding Artemis, none more vividly than in the tale of Actaeon, which dramatically illustrates the consequences of disrupting the natural order she maintains. The myth of Actaeon serves as a striking manifestation of Artemis's dual nature and her role as enforcer of natural laws. In this tale, the hunter Actaeon stumbles upon Artemis bathing in a secluded glade. Enraged by this invasion of her privacy and the sacred space of the wilderness, Artemis transforms Actaeon into a stag. In a cruel twist of fate, Actaeon's own hunting hounds, failing to recognize their transformed master, become his executioners. This reversal of fortune epitomizes the cyclical order of nature and the severe consequences of violating divine realms. The myth vividly showcases Artemis's power to enforce the boundaries between the human and natural worlds, maintaining the delicate balance that defines her character. It serves as a cautionary tale, 
emphasizing the respect due to both the wilderness and the gods who oversee it. As we consider Artemis's place among the Olympian gods, her unique combination of traits sets her apart in significant ways. Among the pantheon of Greek deities, Artemis stands out for her fierce independence and self-sufficiency. Unlike Hera, whose domain centers on marriage and domestic life, Artemis embodies a different kind of feminine power, one that exists independently of male influence or the traditional roles assigned to women in ancient Greek society. As both huntress and protector of the wilderness, Artemis blends roles in a way no other god does. Her combination of traits, from unparalleled archery skills to her guardianship over women and childbirth, elevates her importance among the gods. This unique position allows Artemis to symbolize nature's raw power and female strength in a way that resonates across different aspects of Greek life and mythology. The complexity of Artemis's character didn't remain static, however. As Greek culture spread and evolved, so too did the worship and perception of this multifaceted goddess. The worship of Artemis underwent significant transformations across cultures and time, reflecting changing societal values and needs. In ancient Greece, she embodied the untamed wilderness and the concept of virginity, serving as a protector of young creatures and women. However, as Greek culture was absorbed by the Roman Empire, Artemis transformed into Diana, expanding her influence to encompass politics and imperial power. This shift mirrored broader societal changes, with Artemis's importance moving from rural settings to urban centers. In Rome, Diana became associated with the moon, hunting, and childbirth, but also gained significance in state religion and as a patron of the lower classes. The fluidity of Artemis's roles demonstrates how religious figures adapt to meet evolving cultural needs and values, ensuring their continued relevance across generations. As we reflect on Artemis's enduring legacy, we see how her embodiment of nature's balance offers timeless insights into our relationship with the natural world. In essence, Artemis epitomizes nature's delicate balance, offering a model for understanding and respecting the complexities of ecosystems. Her dual roles as nurturing protector and fierce huntress mirror the intricate interplay within nature, where every action has far-reaching consequences. By culling over population while safeguarding young animals, Artemis maintains biodiversity and prevents resource depletion, embodying principles of sustainable management long before such concepts were formalized. This duality extends to her influence on human life cycles, from assisting in childbirth to guiding maidens through the challenges of growing up. In today's world, grappling with environmental crises and seeking sustainable ways to coexist with nature, Artemis's mythology offers valuable insights. Her enduring relevance lies in her embodiment of ecological principles, reminding us of the need for balance, respect, and understanding in our relationship with the natural world. Artemis, in all her complexity, continues to inspire and guide, bridging the ancient wisdom of Greek mythology with contemporary environmental and social concerns. Her story encourages us to see the interconnectedness of all life and the importance of maintaining harmony between human society and the wild spaces we inhabit.